EA TV, two great clubs. It's coming up for you live. Hi there again, everybody. I'm Martin Tyler, and Alan Smith's with me for this championship game. Yeah, I'm well, Martin. Really pleased to be here. We've got Barnsley playing today against Sheffield Wednesday. Well, he really could be the star of the show today. Well, he's creating goals for fun. Seven so far, the leader in the league in those stats. Well, here is the team sheet for the home side. Responsibility for some of those five in midfield to get forward and... Uh, I'm sure the, the main striker won't be isolated, although it looks a bit like that on our screens. Yeah, he could be a lonely man up top there if he doesn't get the support that uh, he needs because he is the type of player that does need support. He can't do it all on his own. Let's look at Sheffield Wednesday and the list of their players here. Probably one of the two front men will slip behind the other and, and augment the midfield when required. I think so, if they start getting overloaded in the middle of the park, that's always an option for this manager who does like to fill his midfield. Thank you, enjoy the game. Tim Robinson is the referee today. Here's the kickoff, and the game is underway. It's looking good, this move. Still got a bit to do, but this is promising. Put in from the wide area. Chooses to punch here, the goalkeeper. Good technique. It's a chance for a double for the team that are the visiting team today. Had a good win. Now the shot! He's just skimmed the crossbar. Oh, unlucky. Went for placement. Really good technique from him. Goal news from Bristol City. It's a goal for Sunderland. It's been scored by Callum McManaman. He was on the end of a good cup. Lovely. To finish it off. Great stop. It's a corner for Barnsley. Corner played it. Defender did well to get to it, but hasn't really finished the job. Yeah, we're getting news of goals from elsewhere, aren't we? Alan McAnally was the man reporting about that Sunderland goal. The score is now 1-0. Good position. They've worked this attack very well into a quite a dangerous position now. Well, the goalkeeper will hope that it stays like that throughout the game. Goal news from Millwall. It's a goal for Cardiff City. 13 minutes played, 1-0. Oh, interesting news again from Alan McAnally. Thanks, Alan. They could pose some danger now. They need to try and get the ball back now. Nothing wrong with that tackle. In fact, it was a terrific effort. Oh, can you believe it? It is a penalty.
Did you see anything cynical in that, Alan? Didn't look comfortable going into it, and it was a definite foul. something you did too often in your distinguished career. You down from 12 yards, certainly didn't there. Showing his frustrations, the manager, I'm sure he'd love to be out there playing himself, but he can't, and his team are losing now. And that has opened the scoring, 1-0 here. Daniel Tudil attacking now. The referee's given them a free kick in a real position of some danger to the opposition. Defenders just trying to seek an advantage here. The referee's had enough of this. Out comes the card. Great tackle. Hooper. Barry Bannon. And that tackle has got him the ball. Gary Gardner. It's in the laws, the advantage, and referee applying it well then. Well, that's gone back to the goalkeeper. Daniel Cudil. On the attack here. That's a fine challenge, and he's got the ball. This turnover could be costly against a side that can break like this. Oh, what a shame. They had numbers forward, too, for that breakaway. Barry Bannon. And a goal! That's a good block. And it's... Sam Hutchinson. Was good progress with this attack. That is quite a wild effort at goal, although he got good contact on the ball. Oh, well played the referee. He's gone back to the offence that deserved the booking. He didn't want to stop the play at the time, and he's quite entitled to do what he's doing here. Yeah, I think we all thought he was going to go back, but good to see advantage being played. Turn ball. Incisive pass. And here they are on the attack. They've opened them up here. Super reflexes from the goalkeeper. Gary Gardner. Quick witted and quick in his movement too to intercept the. Well, they're in 
good position here. It comes the challenge. Here's Williams. Turn pass. Official has indicated three more minutes. Three minutes. Gary Gardner. Hamill. Coming on strong, looking to play their way through now. Excellent piece of defensive play, under some pressure, I must say. So it's 1 0 here as the half time whistle goes. I think that's a good performance, isn't it, Alan, from him in the first half? Well, he played really well, didn't he? And he got himself a goal to put his team ahead. He'll be pleased with that first 45 minutes. Well, this is the second half now, and it's underway. Gary Gardner. Gardner. That's good movement forward here. That could open them up. Well, they got away with it in the end. Barry Bannon. Going forward well. Now oh, that's good defending. Oh, they thought they were in, but the flag has gone up. Attacking well here. Now Hunt. Oh, time to get the cross now. It's a good cross. Cleared away by the defender. Good work, really, to read the intention of the pass. Wallace. Now they've got a chance in this part of the pitch. Good defending. Barry Bannon. Oh, he's going to shoot from here. Praise for. Trying the shot, Alan. Well, his teammates aren't too happy. He's making a substitution, and it's going to be a double change. First touch was good, but he's got to work hard to keep the ball. It was easy on the eye but in the end, pretty easy to defend against. Goal news from Bristol City. It's a third goal for Sunderland. 59 minutes played, three. And they've cut it out. They can be quick on the break now. That'll be a throw. Here's McDonald. They've got numbers. He's tried that from long range. Lloyd Isgrove. Gardner. Good football between these two. Nice passing. Made the challenge well. Sheffield Wednesday's next game, Alan. They're playing Middlesbrough in their next match in the Championship, and I think it's a one-goal game here either way. That's a free 
kick against Sheffield Wednesday. It's definitely a yellow in the mind of the referee, definitely. Well, I think it unquestionably was. I mean, on another day, he might have got a red for that. It was a really dangerous challenge. Was that just a case of mistiming the tackle? Well, I think so. The referee doesn't need to make a, a mountain out of this molehill, but uh, it is a foul. Just off. Able to cut that out. With, um, some sharp movement. Attacking well here. To bring them level. And it's there. And that levels the match. To score. That's not the hardest goal he's ever scored, but he was in the right place. Different angle on it here. Uh, level, both sides have scored here now. McDonald anticipated the direction of the pass and was able to intervene. He's back this with a chance to go into the lead now. Plenty of power, but not too much direction. The manager just hoping that that miss is not going to come back to haunt them. They have created chances, but that was a costly miss. Gary Gardner. They spread it out wide here. Chance to get trying to slip it through. It's a deep cross towards the back post. It's a good leap, but the header too high. Yeah, unlucky. Give him another chance. I think he'll tuck that away. goal from Ipswich. It's a goal for Burton Albion. It's been scored by Marvin Sordell. He was totally unmarked to the corner to head home. Ten minutes remain. 1-1. One, one. Well, many thanks. Alan McAnally keeping us up to date as usual. Here's a chance to attack. Great play from the attacker. Good deep cross towards the far post. Here's a chance. The goalkeeper exposed. Made that look like a poor pass with a very good interception. Has to score! He's had a real go. It's a decent effort, that, with plenty of sting in it. Yeah, not far away. He really did visit, didn't he? They have the option here of bringing on an extra striker, and that's what they're going to do. Keeping an eye on the time here. We still could have a decisive moment. In the short, well, it's a an erratic moment from the goalkeeper and an error, too, but an error that he's got away with. When you give the ball away as a keeper, it normally leads to a dangerous situation. That's the nature of the job, and he just about got away with it. Well, it wasn't the most powerful header, so it was a very straightforward save. Yeah, it didn't quite get the timing in that header, it was a weak effort. Lloyd Isgrove. Well, they're in a good position here. It's a good cross. 
cleared the ball. Well, the manager is now making a double change. Coming off the pitch, number 14, Gary Hooper, and number 10, Barry Dannon, to be replaced by number 9, Stephen Fletcher, and number 5, Kieran Lee. Jackson. Gary Gardner. Bit of space to go forward into with the ball. The referee's brought it to a halt. It's finished all square. Well, we've been kept on the edge of our seats right to the very end. Looked like there might be a winner for either team, but it's ended as a draw. Yeah, maybe both sides feel that they could have won this match, you know, with the chances they had, but uh, in the end, I think, yeah, a draw, a fair result. It's a good showing from him. He'd have hoped for a better result. That was an important equalising goal. Didn't have a whole host of chances, but certainly put that one away well. He was on the end of a good... Lovely. To finish it off. Great stop. Great penalty. the match.